Alright guys, welcome back to another video game pickup video. Um, first, it's all from GameStop with the exception of one of the games. But first up, we have another vinyl figure that came in from our friends at Diamond Select Toys. It's a GameStop exclusive, once again. And we have Kingdom Hearts uh, Pete. If we open up the diorama here, there he is. There he is, in all his glory there, Pete. Looks like he's in the Hundred Acre Wood, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. I don't know. But, let's read the back. I think it's the same. On the night his island home is besieged by a mysterious storm, Sora is whisked away to an unfamiliar burg known as Traverse Town. There he meets Donald and Goofy and learns of the world's strange goings-on. Donald and Goofy set off to look for their missing king, and Sora joins them to search for his lost friends, Riku and Kairi. This PVC diorama of Pete is based on his appearance in the Kingdom Hearts series of video games and is constructed of high-grade vinyl with detailed sculpting and paint applications. Designed by Uriel Katon, sculpted by Varner Studios. So, we have that to add to the growing collection of figures. I now have Sora, Goofy, Donald, and Mickey in one, and then Pete now. And I have no idea where I'm going to put this. I imagine I'm going to have to... At some point, I got to build another bookshelf for the uh, for where the other stuff is, and I should be able to spread some things around. Now, those of you uh, I talked about it in one of the previous videos. I actually, um, I actually um, bought out a video game store, and I still have pictures of some of the stuff. But I found one game. I don't know if I had it or not. And of all the games that I bought out, of all the stuff, I end up selling for a profit, by the way. But of all the things that I bought. There was like a few demos that I wanted, like a Final Fantasy 7 PS1 demo and a couple of Xbox 360 demos. Nothing really special, but I did find, and I believe it's complete. Let me open it up. Yeah, it is. It's for the 3DS. It's Skylander Spyro's Adventure from Activision. It's playable in 2D and 3D. 3D mode for ages 7 plus. See the back. So bring your Skylanders to life, frozen on the outside, alive on the inside. For generations, the Skylanders have used their magical powers and weapons to protect Skylands, but now an evil tyrant has frozen them and banished them to Earth. Only you can put them on the portal of power and bring them back to life to save Skylands forever. 30-plus Skylanders to collect. You have Dark Spyro, Spyro, Double Trouble, Wrecking Ball, Voodoo, uh, Voodooed, Igniter, Sunburn, Flame Slinger, Eruptor, and Camo, Stomp, Mash, Zook, and Stealth Elf. You go to SkylandersGame.com and Activision.com. This is a not for resale copy, which means it must have come in like a 3DS, um, 3DS uh, collector, like I have for the PS3 and Wii. Uh, I have PS3 Spyros, and then I have a Wii Bowser. So I imagine uh, this came in like a 3DS uh, collection or whatever. So anyway, let's get that out of the way. But next up, we have some PS4 and Switch games I grabbed at GameStop. We'll start with PS4. First up, this is a very heavy collection. Like, the game is heavy. I don't know what's inside. It's Dangan Rampa Trilogy from NIS America. The ultimate collection of mystery, hope, and despair. Unravel gruesome murders and uncover the truth behind it. Momo, Monokuma's killing game, all while avoiding being sentenced to death by your fellow classmates. Contains Dengan, uh, Dengan Rompa 1 2 Reload, Dengan Ropla version 3 Killing Harmony, and the Art of Dengan Ropa Trilogy soft cover booklet. So that's probably why this is so heavy. But anyway, grab that. Never heard of it. Probably never going to play it, but it's a, a trilogy, uh, so I collect it for my collection. So there's that. And then, just released, and it will be released later on for the Switch, but in May, but we picked up Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered from Ubisoft with a bonus game included of Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, also remastered. Now, I when I bought my Odyssey Collector's Edition, this came uh, digitally, both uh, the Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered and uh, Liberty. But, um... Excuse me, Liberation. But I, as a collector, I have to have a physical copy, so here you go. Ignite the Revolution. The American Colony, 1775. As a Native American assassin fights to protect his land and his people, he will ignite the flames of a young nation's revolution. Uh, includes all original sold DLC and enhanced graphics. Pretty easy stuff there. And then for the Switch, picked up first... 
Air Conflicts Collection. This also came out for the PS4, but the Switch version is, I consider the Switch ninth generation, so I have to pick it up. Two games on a single game cartridge. We have Air Conflicts Secret Wars and Air Conflicts Pacific Carriers from Calypso Entertainment. Take to the Skies in the Most Popular Planes from World War I and II. Fight enemies in hair-raising dogfights, bomb targets on the ground, and use missiles and wipe out enemies to wipe out enemy traps and vehicles. Plunge straight into daredevil aerial battles that shape the history of warfare, and show everyone you're an ace in online multiplayer featuring a variety of action-packed modes. So from Calypso and Games Farm, we have Air Conflicts Collection for the Switch, and the last game just released today, Yoshi's Crafted World for the Switch from Nintendo. A new Yoshi adventure unfolds. Discover hidden secrets in handcrafted levels. Hit a target. Unfurl a, a bridge. Feeling stuck? Float past danger in mellow mode. Play the flip side. Play together. Complete a course and flip it around and check out the other side. And then work with a friend to clear courses as a team. So, looks like it's a very kiddie type game, but Yoshi's Crafted World. And that is it. Um, April 1st, Monday, I believe, Toy Story uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, figures come out. From the vinyl, small vinyl series. I don't know if I'm going to pick them up or not. I have them pre-ordered. We'll see. Um, and then after, let's see, April 6th, middle of April, maybe the 17th, we have something else comes out. I forget what. But then the 23rd, obviously, MK11. So we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and we will see you next time. Stay tuned for more video game pickup videos. And then as, as the Mortal Kombat 11 release date comes close, I will go over my Mortal Kombat, my updated Mortal Kombat collection with all of you. So stay tuned for that video. And more Kingdom Hearts to come. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, obviously. And potentially Kingdom Hearts 3 if I can ever fix the videos that got corrupted the night I lost power. Uh, and then Dead or Alive 6. I gotta upload Kingdom Hearts 3 first before I can upload Dead or Alive 6 stuff. So I'm real behind in games. I have to beat Dead or Alive 6. The um, the mission mode, basically. I beat the arcade game already. and But the mission mode, there's 104 different missions to unlock, like costumes and stuff. Then I have to grab the DLC for the game. I have to finally put in Tekken 7 and see if that game is not corrupted as far as the DLC that came out for that. Um, and then I have to grab... Um, same thing with Soul Calibur 6. Same thing with Dead or Alive 6. Then i got to finish Road to the Show from MLB The Show 18, last year's game. Um, apparently I'm not the only one that's had issues with it. I read in some comment section somewhere that this guy was basically the same as me. He was hitting like 390 in double A. It took him five years to get called up and then called up for pinch hitting opportunities. It's the most unrealistic shit I've ever seen. So I'm, apparently I'm not the only one having issues with that. But then after that I gotta play the second season of Madden's story mode, which I haven't gotten to yet. And then very closely, as I said before, the NBA playoffs and NHL playoffs are going to start soon, which means i got to have all that other garbage finished because I have to then do the NBA story mode and then the NHL 3s, just like last year. And then after that, well, Mortal Kombat 11 will be, I'll be playing that as we speak. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment in the comment section below. You guys know the drill.